Happy Monday, everyone. Well, a lot of areas saw some sunshine for today. We've got more sunshine on the way as we head later into the week. And then there were other areas like the Rogue Valley and the Umpqua Basin that barely saw any sunshine at all. Essentially, the fog that was there this morning at the ground level tried to lift up into the atmosphere and clear out. But with an inversion layer, a layer of air that was warmer than the air below it, it stuck around, so it seemed like a very cloudy day for the Medford area. Let's zoom in just a bit and you can see throughout the West Valleys, except for areas like Grants Pass and the Illinois Valley. You for the most part avoided that the Applegate Valley areas of the Rogue Valley and a little further to the north finally starting to clear out. But by the time you did, the sun start to set. Now it should be a little bit better as we go over the next few days. We do have some higher winds with fog developing out towards the coast. That'll develop overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Not likely to stick around as long. We we're expecting warmer temperatures, but once again, the fog stuck around and because of that and because of high pressure over our area, we didn't warm up nearly as much as expected. So the main driver behind the foggy conditions, it's these clear skies that we see at night. You get up above the fog, beautiful days, but cold and foggy mornings. This is going to continue for a couple more mornings and we have dry and mild afternoons at times clearing out those skies. Grants Pass saw plenty of sunshine. Medford, not as much. Kind of a catch 22 there. Some areas seeing slightly cooler temperatures in the mornings, a little bit warmer in the afternoons with those clearing skies. Other areas not seeing as much change in temperatures because essentially we're stuck in a cloud. Medford, for example. As we look at the forecast overall, though, this trend will continue just a little less fog because we should have somewhat higher winds and less moisture to build that fog off of in the mornings. Let's look at the pinpoint forecast here. It is mostly clear skies overnight. This doesn't quite show the potential of fog in the valleys, but it will be there late tonight into tomorrow. Also a colder night. There's more cold air in the area moving in from the north and because of that cooler temperatures, freezing fog, a possibility still just a bit of moisture out there. So do be aware could be icy on the roadways. Let's keep on going through Tuesday, eventually into Wednesday. This is Tuesday afternoon right here. We'll pause it right about here. You can see the next system trying to push in from the north, but likely staying dry through about Thursday. Here we go. Wednesday night, some clouds try to push on in. Most of those showers, if they do roll through later this week, should stay to the north. This is 48 hours. If we keep on going into the weekend and you'll see this in the seven day starting so show some potential of a cold enough and wet enough situation for the valleys essentially could see a chance of some snow in the valley floor as we get into the weekend. That being said, don't get too excited. That's six or seven days out. Things can change a lot in just a couple of days when it comes to the weather in general. High surf advisory has expired, so ignore that part at the bottom there. But otherwise, mostly clear with patchy fog for the coast. Fog continues early tomorrow, but clears out a little bit quicker with some higher temperatures in the afternoon. Brookings offshore winds should clear things out there and should warm things up, possibly getting close to 70 degrees due to the Checo effect for the West Valleys. We're looking at partly cloudy skies too mostly clear at times and because of that with the clearer conditions you'd have colder temperatures about 30 degrees in the morning for Medford 53 the high temperature about 52 the high for Cave Junction 32 the low temperature with 48 for Wairika mostly sunny skies tomorrow if you can get out of the fog and I think a lot of areas will not quite what we saw today and east of the Cascades tonight mostly clear tomorrow mostly sunny temperatures overnight dropping into the teens and 20s I'm going to say about 27 for Klamath Falls look for a bit more cloud cover there eventually getting back to the 30s and 40s in the afternoon 46 degrees for Klamath Falls as we head later into the day foggy mornings mild sunny afternoons continues now Friday showing a little bit of a chance of some showers later in the day I think for the most part that'll stay th to the north but as I mentioned head into Sunday and Monday starting to see more potential of showers moving on through and they're arriving at a time of night into the early morning where we could see it be cold enough and wet enough at the same time for some rain and snow to mix together now the basin no stranger to snow this time of year, but you do have a chance on Monday. Until then, it is mostly a dry and sunny week ahead. Northern California also showing some potential towards Sunday, Monday of next week. Until then, foggy mornings, mild sunny afternoons, temperatures right around, if not slightly below average. And out on the coast, above average temperatures for some areas with some offshore winds. The rest of the coast right around where you should be this time of year. A couple of chances of showers out there, just rain showers. Friday, another chance of rain towards Sunday and Monday.